Hey everyone, this lesson is all about forms and most importantly we're going to add a second form to our project and see how to open a second form in both modal form and modeless form. So we can easily add a new form uh, to our project. First we can right click on the project and select add and windows form. This opens up the add new item dialog and you can see it's just uh, add new item with windows form selected and we'll leave the default form to. I'll click Add. Now in Solution Explorer we can see both of our forms, Form 1 and Form 2. Uh, if we double click on the form it will open up that form in Design View. Uh, so we can switch between the forms using the tabs in Design View or again in Solution Explorer. Let's see how to rename a form. So if we wanted to rename Form 1 we could right click on it and select rename and I'll call it main form. Notice there's a pop-up. It's important to select yes. This is going to change all the references in our code to form one. For, uh, sorry, from form one to main form. And I'm just going to undo that. So I'm going to leave form one. I guess we have to rename it again. So form one. And again, yes. I want to rename all the references. Okay, so now we have two forms in our project. Uh, we have seen how to rename the forms. Now let's take a look at how to switch between these two forms. So first I'm gonna, we have a label at the top, form two, uh, under title, form two and form one. Uh, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a button. First of all, let's take a look at the default form that opens when we run our project. So by default, the first form to run is Form 1. We can actually change that if you right click on the project properties, uh, right click on the project and select properties, you'll see the application settings for the project. And there's the settings startup form. And this is where we could change from Form 1 to Form 2. So if I select Form 2, save it, and then run the project, you'll see that it opens up form 2 by default instead of form 1. So there's form 2. And if we change it back to form 1, now we see that form 1 opens by default. So it's really easy to change the startup form for our project. Okay, so we can open up our forms in two different ways. The two different ways are modeless and modal. So we can uh, do this first. Let's add a couple buttons so we can try it out. So I'll add two buttons. And in this one we'll say open modal form 2. And in this one, we'll say open modeless form two. So the first technique is to open in modal form. And a modal form locks the rest of the application behind it. So you can only interact with the, the form that you've just opened in modal form until you close it. So for example, we're opening form 2 in modal form. You can't do anything in form 1 until you're done completely closing form 2. So to, to, so to add uh, code to open form 2, I'm going to double click on, on this to add a click event. And to open a form, really what we're going to do is we've, we've actually created a class for form 2. And what we're doing is we're going to create an instance of it or an object of type form 2. So here's our object, form 2, and its type is this form that we've created over here. This is actually just a, a class that we're going to use. And to open it in modal form, we'll say form 2 dot show dialog. So get used to this idea. Show dialog is really show modal. 
show dialog is the same as show modal. Okay, next let's take a look at adding a modulus uh, form two. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna add a click event to our second button and probably should have named those buttons, but we'll carry on without it. <laughs> so this time we're gonna say Form two. We've got a form two object which is local to the method, and we'll say form two dot show. So show dialog open modal form dot show open modulus form. Okay, let's try it out. So I'm gonna run the project. Hopefully form one still opens. Yep, here we go, so two buttons. So first we're gonna open in modal form using the show dialog method. <clears throat> and you can see it won't let me click on form form one. I am, oh, I am locked into using form two until I close form two. And that's what makes it modal, is you can only interact with the form that you just opened until you close it. Now I'm back to form one. Okay, now let's open it in modeless using a modeless technique. And now, if I if I uh, click on form one, you can see that I can switch focus from form two back to form one while form two is open. That's considered a modeless form. So form two is a modeless form. So again, a modal form you cannot interact with any other forms in the application until you close that form. A modeless form allows you to still interact with all the other forms. That's it. That's the difference between a modal and a modeless form. Thanks.